corner, mister. Ah, the fine. Can't be bothered. Good morning to you. That belly puts a foul taste in my mouth. Okay then. Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Eat this, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh, look who's back. Damn troublemaker. Hello, gentlemen. Morning, mister. Hey there, mister. Morning. Hey, partner. I can see you're a fellow who ain't to be messed with. <laughs> That's real pretty. I love listening to you play. Hello? That belly puts a foul taste in my mouth. Hello, 
Sirs. Hello. Morning. You will look again. Oh, joy. What'll it be, then? Damn. Fred sure don't like people Can looking at him, food, buddy. please? Morning. If it comes back up, don't come crying to me. Thanks, mister. Just get out of my way. Hey, be careful. Sir. Hey, mister. <laughs> Good morning, mister. Last week, dragging some helpless farmer Hi, folks. Morning. Good morning. Hello, welcome. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. By the time I turn this old, I'd be happy. People in Valentine been getting under my skin. Of any assistance in there. Ah, oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. You can just leave it to me now. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. So, how's it going with you? Good, good. My dog, Copper, used to take baths with me when he was alive. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. <laughs> yes, indeed. Doesn't that feel good now? I think I'm good. 
It was nice meeting you. Best night sleeping Valentine right here. Thanks. You'd best behave yourself around here now. You got one mighty obvious tail there, Clark. Hello. Ah, you Mr. ain't worth two shits all damn long. What's it to be? Yeah. One, three, no brawling this time, all right? Oh, I'm on my best behavior. It's got to keep that whistle wet, huh? Once. Well, Buffalo, no Redskins. No, no. How many Redskins are killed? But there's that son of a bitch. They deserved it. They weren't Christians. So I sent them to hell. Well, they should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. Hi, darling. Ladies. Hey there, partner. So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Don't ask me. Yeah, I was just, uh, wandering. By now. Decent town you got here. How about that? Well, I'll leave you to it. Okay, be seeing you. There's that son of a bitch I told you about. How do you? My old best. Oh, yeah? She could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you! Yo, oh, hey there. fella sick! Hey, Quentin! I took a piss in your chair again. I really hope you're joking. You new in town? Hey, you're welcome here. So what's wrong what with you, fool? Well, look at y'all. Look at you. It's my time. And it was goddamn men. You ain't men. The whole lot of you. Look at you. You ain't men. You ain't even women. You're. You're something. Else. You're revolting. <laughs> Don't try to cut it yourself. I'm None of us evil. need or want any more trouble from you. Partner. Stay there, boy. <laughs> Here you are, boy. Yeah. There, boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Okay there, boy? Come on now, boy. Oh man, a couple of counties over. So 
all the cracks are shot like lightning. Howdy. Actually, well, okay. forget about it. Easy, whoa. Mister? <laughs> Time to go, boy.
for a moment. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Yep. 
Okay, then. Yeah. Slow up now. Hey, boy. It'll take more than that, boy. Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? 
Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. We're never going to get there at this rate. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Boss, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here. Towards Rhodes. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Catch you, go, Coast Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Let's go. We're going to miss it. Uh, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. A little Mr. McGuire. Focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. Huh? Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Tia! Mr. Marston! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Hey, all right. Get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Unnecessary, no, please. Don't help me. Why are you? Please. Come on. What did I In the do? bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. I am a diverse to conflict. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than Here. dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and Tough look for the baggage huh? car. You sure about Let's that? Why you you show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Come on. Be smart about this. Come on. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got, let's go! Don't help me! <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. M? Get up here! Oh, shoot. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Please don't help I'll me. I'll do anything! Okay! None of Getting you robbed, folks move Mr. a muscle! Yeah, everything you got. What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. Don't have a right out with a lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You mean come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now! There's only two of you, you fools! We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Shit! We got more under there. Ah! And we got more coming from the trees there. You stop, Get out behind us! Coming in on horses! 
Morgan, we gotta go! Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Slow it down. Easy. Yeah!
There we go. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. 
Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. You all right, boy? Okay, fella.
sorry, boy. <laughs> 